watch this video and if you wanted to be the first one who will get notified if I have posted a new video please click on the notification bell down below all right so let's start in this video you will learn how the world works okay part one guys let's revise when we say living things of course they can grow breathe eat move feel excrete and reproduce so guys I want you to get your checklist a paper first and then we're gonna have to decide whether the picture that you're seeing can grow, breathe, eat, drink, move, feel, excrete, reproduce, and if it is a living thing or not a living thing. Can the sack grow? No, it cannot breathe either, eat, drink, move, feel, excrete, and reproduce. So definitely it's a non-living thing. Now, can a girl grow? Yes, it can grow, breathe, eat, drink, move feel and excrete and reproduce so she is a living thing how about a yam a yam that has been taken out from the soil well it's uh, food already so it's consumed by living things so it doesn't grow anymore breathe eat drink move feel excrete reproduce so it's a non-living thing a cat of course a cat can grow breathe eat drink move and feel excrete and reproduce so it's a living thing so plants can grow breathe eat drink move it moves towards the sun and it also feels like when you touch some of the plants they respond to you by closing their petals or their leaves they excrete they excrete like uh, air that we need to breathe in okay they excrete oxygen the clean air that we need to breathe in okay and they reproduce they have small plants too so definitely it's a living thing all right so let's learn today we're gonna talk about a butterfly life cycle so guys I will ask you first to try this arrange these pictures all right you can also point to the screen and tell me which one comes first all right so which one comes first guys the eggs on the leaf the pupa or the cocoon we can call it cocoon all right, but now we are introducing the new word, pupa, and a larva right here, the caterpillar, and the butterfly. So there you go. That's how you're going to arrange. So it starts with the egg, and then larva, and then pupa, and an adult butterfly. So we call it a life cycle of a butterfly. Now, as you can see, there are arrows like um, pointing to the next stage. And from the adult butterfly, it goes back to the eggs. Why do you think um, each arrow points to the next stage? All right. And then a butterfly uh, points to the eggs once again. All right. I hope we do have the same answer. So it starts with the eggs and it goes to being a larva and then a pupa and an adult butterfly and later on the adult butterfly will lay some eggs and these eggs will hatch into larva right so it goes around and around that's why we call it a cycle now guys count the stages of the life cycle of a butterfly for me one two three four so there are four stages of a life cycle of a butterfly if the insect or the animal has four stages of um, the life cycle, we call it complete metamorphosis. So you might ask me, of course, it's a new word, metamorphosis. What do you mean by metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is the act of changing, all right? Just like the butterfly. It starts with an egg and then larva and a pupa and adult butterfly. So there's a process of changing and this process of changing is what we call metamorphosis okay say it with me metamorphosis all right guys let's do this let's have our activity so i want you to get your paper in which you can see the stages of a life cycle of a butterfly so you can see like uh, words right here and then the pictures all right so you have to arrange them on your own so guys you can see like um there are four boxes uh, please number each box one two three and four and arrange the pictures and the words 
So I want you to come up with this outcome. All right. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see your pictures and videos. Bye.